Where is your master hiding? He is attending to other matters. You belong to Darth Barras. I was given instructions to destroy you if you were foolish enough to show your face here. You'd be wise to ignore those instructions. No, I think not. You are surrounded, and we far outnumber you. Full attack! Sir, the Sith's strength has been spent obliterating our enemy. We should strike while there's a chance. After that display, Weglin, I believe fighting should be our last resort. Stay back and cover me. Sith, I am Commander Nolan. I'm in charge of this defensive. I'm unarmed. You risk much approaching me, weaponless. I doubt that a blaster would save me. We do not wish a fight, but we also cannot relinquish this area. What are your terms? You live only by my good grace. I may have need of you someday, and you will repay my mercy. Very well. If your mission does not conflict with Republic interests, I pledge to help you. Here is my hollow frequency. I will answer your call. You have my word. Until we meet again, Sith. Men, the battle is ended. Attend to the wounded. My lord, my base! My base is under attack! The last of my men and I are holed up in the command center. But the doors are about to give! I'll be right there, Haradrell. Try to hold on. Do the best I can. But I... I've got a bad feeling about this! The command center's been breached! I've never seen such power. Oh no. Darth Barras failed to inform you exactly who you'd be crossing. This demonstration should make up for that deficiency. You want Agent Delicon. You want me. I won't be hard to find anymore. I'm on the roof of the satellite platform in network access. If you dare show, I will grant you a duel to the death. Be honored. He's a moron if he thinks we're going to walk into such an obvious ambush. Right? Commander Norlin and his men owe me their lives. Hail him. I want to collect. Happy to do my part. Here you go. I had a feeling you'd call, Sith. Can't say I'm looking forward to this. You should be pleased to wipe the slate clean between us, Commander. Believe me, I am. I just don't relish being obligated to do my enemy's bidding. The soldier pays his debts. Tell me what must be done.
Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delacon, Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece, and do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant and my cover was intact. Did he expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance? Just wait for death? You knew the risks of the job when you took it. And how to avoid them. Lord Rathari protects me now, and all of Barris's secrets will be his. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barris's deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. I marked you as a coward the moment I saw you. Ha! You cannot goad me into it, worm. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. I'm warning you, Rathari. Stand down. Now. That's the signal, men! Let's go! I see now. I've underestimated your resourcefulness. Men, make quick work of these Republic fools. Attack! Never have I witnessed such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. The threat Delacon posed to you and your master has died with him. I hope it ingratiates me in some way. You shouldn't have killed him. Why? Barris would not have accepted a show of mercy, and you must not cross him. Yet. It's clear to me now. Someday you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barriss's end. Grant me mercy, so I may live to see it. Honor me with some small hand in it. I make you my minion to be called into service when I see fit. Yes, I shall wait with patience for your summons. I leave you to your business, my lord. Remember, I am at your disposal, whenever you may seek to topple Barras. From here on, that is your only interest in the galaxy. You have siphoned all other ambition from me. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you and me and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go. You have served me well, Commander. Leave in peace. All right, men. You heard the Sith. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. <sighs> Glad this is finally over. Maybe we can go back to the ship and get off this rock, huh? You haven't enjoyed Narshadarvet? What's to enjoy? So dark and scummy? Ugh. Gives me the creeps. I just can't wait to get back to my quarters and grab some shut-eye.
You have done well, my apprentice. Delicon eliminated and Lord Rathari dispelled. This will be a day long remembered. The loss of Haladrel Sitson is unfortunate, but the ends far justify the means. She served you honorably, Master. I had a soft spot for her as well. You have successfully eliminated both of my compromised agents. The time has come to set our sights on Noman Carr and his gifted Padawan. It seems our adversary is of like mind. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Noman Carr has been busy. Enlighten me, Master. It appears your ship is being tracked. A very sophisticated sensor is reporting your every movement. I've traced the signal to a spaceport in a sector not far from you. I'm sure Noman Carr is involved. It seems likely. I've sent the coordinates to your mainframe. Head there immediately, dock with the station, and make a lasting impression. Have you ever heard of Noctrayan? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. He destroyed the Wrath Cartel and the Vandalhelm Combine in some giant power grab. Same guy. Yeah, same guy. Weird to think of him that way. Noctrayan was the most famous killer in the galaxy. But he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Nock. Or maybe he just had something Nock wanted. I never did ask. Did any of the gang survive the encounter? You mean anyone that wasn't owned as property? No, they did not. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves, and told them they could join up, or go their own way. I'm surprised he allowed a child to make that kind of decision. He was like that. Never once talked differently to me. Not sure he really understood kids. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining had taught me to fit in tight spaces. Nox's crew showed me how to steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. It must have been hard for you. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? What does family mean to you? I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? When you are close to people, they become family. Sometimes, whether you want them to or not. Cute. I'm going to take that as a compliment. When I was working for Noctrayan, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age, Risha. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But he'd call her princess, and I wished I was her. You've only spoken of a mother and sister. What happened to your father? Dead. Enslaved. Disappeared. We never really knew. Maybe that's why I wanted to be Risha. Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister again. For years it was Risha and me against the galaxy and anyone who gave us grief. Memories of the best times in life are treasures later in life. Who are you, and what did you do with the Sith I know? Eventually, Nock hatched some secret plan that I couldn't be a part of. One that apparently got them both killed. But for a while there, I really was happy. <sighs> Enough of that. 